What's up everybody, this is Ed here once again for the Blood Type Online YouTube channel. And uh, it's time for another DVD review. <clears throat> and uh, the reason why I'm doing this one is because recently I was listening to an episode of uh, DeadPit.com's uh, radio show. And uh, every once in a while they do a, a feature called the Mic Check, uh, which is like, they bring this guy named Michael Felcher on. Uh, he works on a lot of uh, extras and stuff for DVDs. And, and uh, like, if you've ever seen anything for Red Shirt Pictures, like before a, a featurette or something on, like, the extras of a DVD, he's the one that did it. And, uh, you know, they were basically talking about the new Blu-ray that's coming out for the movie Creep Show and how Warner Brothers just chose not to add any special features or anything to the disc. And, you know, I thought it was pretty crappy, to be honest with you. I just think that's shitty. And uh, especially due to the fact that they're trying to push Blu-ray, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be the new uh, format, if you will. And I just thought it was kind of lame of them to do that. Uh, they weren't interested in using the special features uh, from the disc that was already done in the UK, which I'm going to talk about here right now. Uh, basically, Warner Brothers chose not to use this stuff, and uh, uh, I, for whatever reason why, I have no idea. Um, but basically, I'm trying to save you guys a little bit of money, or at least uh, stop you from buying an inferior product. I mean, if you're really dying to have Creep Show on Blu-ray, I mean, you know, maybe wait, and you'll eventually get the edition that you want to see, but I highly doubt it at this point. <clears throat> uh, but basically... This is the two-disc special edition of Creepshow. It's a Region 2 DVD, and uh, this is actually where you should... If you, if you need a good edition of Creepshow, uh, get this. Uh, it's, it only plays on region-free players or ones that you can hack, just to let you guys know. It's real easy to do for the most part. If you look around online, you can find out how to do it with your own specific player. Uh, I know a couple years back I actually bought a, uh, a region-free, or one that could be hacked anyway, uh, DVD player from Target for 40 bucks, and it works perfectly fine, and I still use it to this day. Um, but uh, you're going to need something like that to, to check this one out. I got this uh, about a year or so ago at a convention. Uh, it was about 25 bucks, and that's probably what you'll get it for online, uh, maybe around 20 or so. Uh, but it's definitely worth it. Let me just show you guys. It has like a slipcase that you pull it out of, and it features some really cool cover art. Uh, which I know a lot of collectors like that stuff. Uh, I'm not that big into it, but I do like it whenever uh, they use cool cover art for stuff. So, uh, as you can see, this is a disc here, basically for the UK. Uh, the ratings and stuff are a little bit different than they are in America. Um, but the the reason why I wanted to talk about this is it's a very super cool two disc set. Show you guys the discs, and uh, it's actually the best I've ever seen the movie Creepshow look. Um, they did a great job at the transfer. Everything looks really, really clean and really crisp. And, uh, you know, they actually did go back and remaster the movie and, and you know, tried to get the best possible picture quality that you could have. Um, they did a great job. It looks a lot better than the shitty Snapcase DVD that was put out, too. Uh, the one that I had before this one of uh, Creepshow. And, uh, you know, th another reason why I wanted to talk about this one, too, is because this is the first horror film I've ever seen. And, uh... You know, it's it's always had, like, a place in my horror heart, if you will. Uh, and I, I've always enjoyed it. And obviously it's directed by George Romero. Um, I'm from Pittsburgh, so basically, you know, Romero's kind of a hero to us folks here. Uh, but he's a great director. Uh, he's one of my favorites. And uh, Creepshow's definitely one of my favorite anthology films of all time, too. And uh, it has quite a unique cast. I mean, if you guys haven't seen this by now, seriously, you need to check this out. Uh, this is the best way to get it, too, if you already have it or if you want to update from that shitty Snapcase DVD that Warner Brothers put out. This is a great way to do it. Uh, but, you know, the, this is the first disc ever where there was commentary for the film, which this has commentary by Romero and Tom Savini. It's a really good track, too. Uh, also, there's, uh, it's called Just Desserts, The Making a Creep Show, a feature-length retrospective with an all-new cast and crew interviews, and it's a really great uh, look back on the movie and a lot of the different sequences, and working with all the different actors, because, I mean, this movie has some serious actors in it uh, for being basically a horror anthology. I mean, the Hal Holbrook, Adrian Barbeau, Ted Danson, Leslie Nielsen, uh, you know, jeez, uh, I mean, E.G. Marshall's in this, Ed Harris shows up in this, um, you know, so it's a, it's a pretty all-star cast for this one, too. And, uh, you know, just figured that people would want to check this one out. 
especially on this disc too, if that's another reason why I'm doing the review. But uh, it's it's really a great film uh, from Father's Day, which is like the very first uh, you know story in this one, uh, to the story about the the meteorite crashing down on Earth and the guy played by Stephen King finds it and the weirdest shit ever happens to him. That really creeped me out too when I was a kid watching that. Uh, for whatever reason, it just really got to me. Uh, but I also remember he was watching wrestling, Stephen King, in one scene. He's sitting in his living room, dealing with an issue from the meteor, and he's just watching wrestling. But uh, remember that very well. Remember uh, also too the my favorite in the in this film is called The Crate, uh, which is a story with Hal Holbrook and Adrian Barbeau. And there's a werewolf in this crate underneath the staircase at the school, and uh, you know it's a super cool little story. And obviously. Uh, E.G. Marshall plays the guy who's a complete agoraphobe and doesn't leave the house and basically is, you know, afraid of germs and everything else and has quite the interesting experience with insects. But um, it's also in the, the style of EC Comics, which to this day, I mean, with, even with great stuff like uh, like Frank Miller's like Sin City, uh, that movie, the way how it captured the comic book look, um, this is perfect for capturing the the whole EC universe, um, which if you guys aren't familiar, were uh, a comic from the 50s, basically a comic book, if you will, uh, like Tales from the Crypt and Balls of Horror and stuff like that, and they had some really gruesome stuff in it, and, you know, they were basically banned at some point because they were deemed inappropriate for children, it induced the whole comics code, which was used up until, you know, I guess about a decade ago, I want to say. Uh, in the comic book industry where they couldn't touch on certain things. But um, this is the best film adaptation of anything EC Comics related I've ever seen. I think it's absolutely wonderful. It's a great, uh, great film. Highly recommend it. It's truly a horror classic in my mind. And uh, you can't go better. You can't go get the film any better. Really, I'm just stumbling over this like a fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> but... It doesn't look any better than it does on this disc. The two disc set, uh, complete with special bonus features. There's some deleted scenes on here as well. Theatrical trailer, still galleries, and it also has Tom Savini's bonus footage too. Which, if you guys have ever seen the DVD that Blue Underground put out of Prowler, well, there's some home video footage, if you will, or home video footage, in which Tom Savini took his own camera and shot a lot of the stuff that was going on in the set. Same thing here, and it's an absolutely cool look back. Uh, at the film Creep Show, which is obviously, like I said, one of my favorites. And, uh, you know, if you guys out there have a uh, Blu ray or something, or you have the, the Super Deluxe HD TV, and you're thinking, well, I'd rather still have Creep Show in the Blu ray format, I mean, this will look probably just as good with the DVD up convert, stuff like that, if you have a DVD up converter. And, uh, you know, I mean, sure, it's not going to be 1080p, but, I mean, to me, you know, you still want to watch the movie. You, I'm sure you've seen the movie a million times. Uh, I think it'd be more enjoyable, just in my opinion, with the special features. So, uh, this is Creep Show. You guys can check this out online for a Region 2 DVD. Like I said, if you don't have a Region player, you can get them for cheap. Or you can even look online. They might even have a Region hack for your DVD player that you just generally punch in with your uh, remote control, and it takes the Region locking off of the actual player itself. So, uh, to check that on online, out online. I believe DVDhelp.com is a place that uh, that will do that or give you help lead you in the right direction. Anyway, but uh, just also wanted to tell you to get you guys to check out all of our friends here on YouTube. Check out uh, GutMunchers.com. Check out SlasherClub.com. Check out DeadPit.com. Uh, check out the videos of Mad Puppet Death, which was very cool of her to uh, give me a shout out on the video. Uh, that she did showing her Anchor Bay clamshells, which I'm super jealous about. I wish I had all those. Um, but, uh, you know, that's about it right here for the Creep Show review. Check this out. Great film, great DVD. Save your money on the Blu ray. Uh, you know, I don't think that many people out there are going to want to spend their, their money on a, a Blu ray with no special features. And uh, who knows how great the transfer is even going to look, too. Uh, but that's Creep Show. Check it out. Pick it up. Uh, and uh, I don't know. Go watch some uh, horror anthologies. How about that?